lunch. And it's like we have to make our own lunch. Yeah. yeah. And it's through hard work and, uh, and this you know, is the focusing on every individual aspect of it. And the first time this was done, it was done in a factory. Exactly. Not by one company. We're trying to achieve proof of concept. Yes. Which encourages everybody to get on board. Yes. You know, you know the emissions phenomena from a reverse sense by feeding current into it. Yeah, I already know what's going to happen because it, you know charges are in charges. We know what they're going to do when they interact with magnetic fields, and as a motor, it will work. Okay, so now we're focused on the generator aspect of the SCG, which is involves the layering. That's yeah. where the energy transformation takes place. That's where the bosons are formed, and when they uh, come across the the rollers, they will have to move. Yes. And uh, I already know that's going to happen. The magnetizer has a 10-inch uh, core, and we're going to machine the uh, pole caps so that we can fasten them down below here as well as above. And so we're working on adapting the magnetizer with the correct pole caps so we can magnetize the SEG correctly. Yeah, recently I configured the uh, CNC with a 12-inch chuck going to allow us to machine the uh, pole caps for the magnetizer. You can see it requires a 10 inch diameter with this uh, six jawed chuck and we're well into the process of shaping it specifically the way we need it and that is it allows us to focus the flux where we need it for the magnetic material. This is the big day. We're going to try to magnetize one of the uh, rings, a full ring, for the first time ever. That's another milestone for us. Quite a milestone. So our engineer has done a lot of machining to get the pole caps done just right. And we're going to find out how efficient that makes the magnetizing. I'm optimistic about it, so we're going to go ahead and load up the, uh, the uh, stator ring what John calls the plate and this is going to be our first static magnetization. It's the first step towards all of the other uh, uh, magnetization processes that's involved in the SEG. In order to begin we got to power off our unit. This is what going, this is what's going to control and power the live magnetizer which is what you see here. I'm going to lower the uh, core into the magnetic layer. Okay. All right, these are the uh, custom made uh, pole caps Tom uh, machined for us. Now that we got it all lined up. This should allow us to focus the magnetics into the magnetic layer. And like I said, this is going to be a, a DC test only. But I love the fact that it automatically gives you the sweep frequency. It's giving you the sweep frequency right now? Yeah, that's important when it comes to uh, measuring the magnetics. That test set up the rotator. You can see it. 4K gals. Tom, what do you see? Seeing uh, 20. You see the grass going up gradually? Yes, it is. It's 
it's moving towards 10. And that's enough to buy the thing. Background is zero. Focus in the readings. We have magnetized this whole layer. And that is the first time we've been able to do that for a whole ring. And this is the kind of equipment it takes to make it happen. Well, see if it sticks, uh, Tom. Obviously, it does. Very simple, yes. Tom, Dick, and Harry say they can go make it. Let me show you. It takes a bit more than just you think you can make it. Because you need to know the mathematics, get the material to the right amount, and you've got to know how to lay it up. And from this, you produce a finished machine.